Hello everybody and welcome to our lesson. Today we are going to talk about other equations in one variable. We are already done talking about linear equation in one variable as well as quadratic equation in one variable. So for this video, we are going to talk about other equations in one variable, more specifically one variable equations involving radicals okay so to solve equations you know, involving radicals we shall use the theorem stated on the slide so if e and f are algebraic expressions then e is equal to f is an algebraic equation and its solution set is a subset of the solution set of the equation e raised to n is equal to f raised to n where n is any positive integer Okay, so ang ibig sabihin nito, the solution set of e raised to n equals f raised to n um, may not or may not be the solution of e is equal to f. Okay, but we know e equals f, yung solution niya contains in, in e raised to n equals f raised to n. But not all solutions may be a solution of e equals f okay so we shall illustrate this theorem in the following illustration so we are given square root of 2x plus 5 plus x is equal to 5 we are asked to solve for the equation okay to solve for this one we are going to isolate the expression involving the square root on one side of the equation okay so in this case yung square root of 2x plus 5 will be isolated dito sa left part of the equation all other terms will be transposed to the other side of the equation so this now becomes 5 minus x okay our goal here is to eliminate the square root so what do we do next here we are going to raise both sides to 2. Okay, to eliminate the square root sign, we need to raise both sides of the equation to 2. Okay? So, what becomes to the left side of the equation is 2x plus 5. And since the right side, this, since this is a binomial, it will become a trinomial. So that is 25 minus 10x plus x squared. Okay. So this is a quadratic equation. We are going to write this in standard form. So this is x squared. Uh, this is minus 10x minus 2x. So this is negative 12x. And then positive 25 minus 5 is positive. 20 and equal to 0 okay so we are going to solve this quadratic equation using factoring so the factors of 20 are 10 and 2 so this is x minus 10 and x minus 2 because the sum of negative 10 and negative 2 is negative 12 which is equal to the middle term okay so equals 0 by the zero factor theorem we are going to uh, equate both factors to 0 so x minus 10 equals 0 we come up with x is equal to positive 10 and the other factor is x minus 2 so x minus 2 equals 0 we have x is equal to 2 so as per the uh, quadratic equation there are two solutions x equals 10 and x is equal to 2 but remember we raise both sides to 2 dito sa linyang ito that means the uh, this is just ano uh, this is the solution set of uh, this equation yung na raise to 2 the solution set ng equation na ito maaring hindi solution ng original equation that is why uh, it is a very critical step dito na i-check natin yung solution Okay, so we are going to check the solution. Okay, when x is equal to 10, we have square root of 2 times 10 plus 5 
and then plus 10 is it equal to 5 okay so square root of uh, 2 times 10 is 20 plus 5 is 25 so that's square root of 25 plus 10 is it equal to 5 Remember dito, ano, we are only talking about the principal square root. So, square root of 25 is 5 plus 10. Is it equal to 5? 15 is not equal to 5. So, therefore, x equals 10 is not a solution. Okay, hindi siya solution ng original na equation natin. Okay, so let us check the other solution na na-solve natin okay, yung x is equal to x is equal to 2 okay, when x is equal to 2 we have square root of 2 times 2 plus 5 then plus 2, is it equal to 5 square root of 2 times 2 is 4 plus 5 is 9, so square root of 9 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5 therefore 5 is equal to 5 Okay, therefore, x is equal to 2 is a solution of the original equation. Okay, therefore, the solution set is uh, only positive 2. Okay? Ang tawag natin ano, dito sa nasolve natin pero hindi solution ng original na equation is called an extraneous solution. Okay, therefore, x equals 10 is an extraneous solution in this case. Let us solve one more problem. So, we find uh, for the solution set of the given equation, square root of 3 minus 3x minus the square root of 3x plus 2 is equal to 3. Okay, so as you can see, there are two square roots involved dito, no? So, ang gagawin natin is to isolate one of these two terms uh, in one side of the equation. Una muna, i-isolate natin itong square root of 3 minus 3x. So, square root of 3 minus 3x is equal to 3 plus square root of 3x plus 2. Ano, uh, <clears throat> what is our purpose? Ano, na, bakit ginawa natin ganito? Our purpose is to eliminate the square roots pero one by one. Ano? And, uh, we cannot eliminate immediately itong dalawang square roots. Isa-isa lang muna. Okay? So in this case, unahin natin i-eliminate itong square root of 3 minus 3x yung square root niya by uh, squaring both sides. So, if we square both sides, mawawala na yung square root dito. So, this becomes 3 minus 3x. Okay. Ang mangyayari dito sa right side, since this is a binomial, uh, magkakaroon tayo ng trinomial. So, 3 squared is 9 plus 2ab. So, it's 2 times 3 times there. So, that's 6 square root of 3x plus 2. And then plus the square of this square root of 3x plus 2. Ibig sabihin, this is 3x plus 2. Okay? Kung titignan ninyo, meron ulit tayong term involving square root. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin in this case is to isolate this term, itong term na merong square root, to one side of the equation. So, lahat ng mga walang square root, transpose natin dito sa left side of the equation. So, uh, 3, meron tayong 9 dito, meron tayong 2. So, 3 minus 9 minus 2, that's 3 minus 11. So, that's negative, negative 8. Okay? And then, minus 3x, that was merong 3x, minus 6x equals 6 square root of 3x plus 2. Okay? So, uh, dito, since... Uh, one term na lang yung merong square root is ito na yung i-square natin both sides. Okay, so if we square both sides of 
the equation, mangyayari dito, square both sides. So, binomial ito, so it will become a trinomial. 8 times 8 is 64. A plus 8 times 6 is, uh, 6 times 8 is 48 times 2 is uh, 96. Ano ba? <laughs> and 36x squared. <clears throat> Dito naman sa right side, that's 6 squared, so 36. Tapos square root of 3x plus 2 squared, mawawala na yung square root. So that's 3x plus 2. Okay, eh, distribute natin yung 36 sa, dito sa right side. So, this becomes uh, 36 times 3 is wait, uh, 108 So, this is 108x plus 36 times 2 is 72. Okay. So, this is also a quadratic equation. Now, uh, let us write this in standard form. It now becomes 36x squared. Okay. So, we have 96x minus 108 is negative 12. Okay, and then 64 minus 72 minus 8 equals 0. Okay, so let us take a look at this one. So 36, 12, and 8, they are all divisible by 4. Nama? So we can still simplify the quadratic equation by dividing all sides by 4. So the equation now becomes 9x squared minus 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. Tama? Okay, now the factors are okay, you need to uh, factor this one. The factors of 9x squared, 3x and 3x factors of negative 2, negative 2, and 1. So, we have 3x minus 2 and 3x plus 1. Okay. Equals 0. Okay. You can try and check kung ano, a negative 3 yung sum. So, negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. 3 and 1 is positive 3. So, negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. So, this is indeed the factors of the given quadratic equation. Now, by zero factor theorem, let us uh, equate both factors to zero. This is the first factor. We will uh, come up with x is equal to positive two thirds. And for the second factor, we'll come up with x is equal to negative one third. Okay, but then again, itong dalawang solution na ito may or may not be a solution of the original equation. That is why we need to check. No? Let us check if itong nasold natin na values of x are solution of the original equation. So when x is equal to 2 thirds, okay, uh, square root of 3 minus, uh, that's 3x, okay, so 3 times 2 thirds minus square root of 3 times 2 thirds plus 2, is it equal to 3? Okay, if you try and com uh, compute itong left part or left side of the equation, ito is square root of 1 kasi... 3 minus 2 ito. So, square root of 1 is 1. This is square root of 4. So, 1 minus 2 is negative 
1. Okay, so negative 1 dito sa kabila 3. So hindi siya equal to 3. Therefore, x equals 2 third is not a solution. Okay? x equals 2 third is not a solution. Let us try and check x is equal to negative 1 third. Okay, try nyo lang and substitute 1 third dito sa x sa original equation natin. The left part will be equal to positive 1. So, also not equal to 3. Okay? Therefore, x equals 2 third and x equals negative 1 third are not solution of the original equation. Okay, dalawa yung extraneous solution. Bakit kaya dalawa yung naging extraneous solution natin dito? Because if you try to look at our uh, solution dito, dalawang beses tayong nag-square. Di ba? Ibig sabihin, if we square both sides, nag, parang nag, ano tayo, nag introduce tayo ng extraneous solution. Okay, so dalawang beses tayo nag-square, ibig sabihin, maaring dalawa, isa o wala, extraneous solution. But in this case, the two solutions na nasolve natin are both extraneous solution. Okay? Ulitin ko, ano, kapag dalawang beses tayong nag nag-square both sides, maaring dalawa yung extraneous solution natin, maaring isa lang, or maaring wala. That is why we need to check all the solutions na nasosolve natin when radicals are involved. Okay? Pero dito sa example natin ito, neither of the x values that we solve uh, is a solution of the original equation. Therefore, the solution set is an empty set. Okay? The solution set is an empty set. Okay.